Hello and welcome to 10 Questions for Esri. My name is Chris and I'm here with Linda Hi. and the uh, Insights team. Thank you for joining us, uh, Linda. Happy Hi, to sure. have you. And uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, Insights uh, for ArcGIS and we have uh, some questions uh, from the community so we're excited to uh, see what they, what they want to know. All right. Um, so thank you everybody for submitting the questions and we're going to go ahead and, and jump right in. Okay, perfect. So the first, uh, first question we have here is, um, uh, what is Insights for ArcGIS and uh, when will it be released? Okay, that's a great start. Yeah. So Insights is an experience that we're introducing that will allow you to gain an understanding from your data. Your data could be spatial or non-spatial data. And it's really about exploring that data and also doing analysis with that data. So it's allowing you to gain a, uh, an understanding, as I say, of that data, but without the technical complexities. Um, the other part of the question, I think, was when is it going to be released? It, very soon. So we're hoping by the end of December. Oh, all right. So that's, that's right around the corner. Yep. Very, very exciting. In time for the holidays, actually. Right? <laughs> of so, course. Did you guys plan that on purpose? No? It's what everybody wants to do on their <laughs> vacation, isn't it? <laughs> I, I know a lot of people here will be. Yeah, ex yeah. excellent. Great. Uh, so question, question number two. Yep. Uh, uh, how do you get insights for uh, ArcGIS and what are the licensing agreements? Okay, so you should be able to download Insights for ArcGIS from your MyEsri, that's not easy to say. And in terms of the licensing agreements, you need to have ArcGIS Enterprise 10.5, and you also need to, to gain full access to it, you need to have um, level two user access, and you also need to have a premium app license level. All right, great. Yeah, and we'll have uh, you know links to everything in the uh, uh, in the the uh, comment section. Okay. Uh, everything. So, and of course, you know we're doing it with the community, so it's always an uh, ongoing conversation. Yep. So, um, question number three. Okay. Um, is uh, is ArcGIS going to be uh, insights going to be available in ArcGIS Online or only in Portal for ArcGIS? Okay. So I've already mentioned this first release 1.0 is going to be available as part of ArcGIS Enterprise, which is what we're now changing the name from Portal to. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be part of Enterprise, but we have literally just started um, developing it for ArcGIS Online. Yeah. So that's very much the plan, um, our development plans for 2017. All right. So watch this space. <laughs> All right. So you, you already got it uh, rolling. Yep. Fantastic. All right, question number four. So. Who will use Insights for ArcGIS? Who's this, who's this for? Well, I'm completely biased, so right. I hope everyone's going to be using it. <laughs> but really, who's it designed for, I guess, mm -hmm. is the question. So, I mean, again, I would say for everyone. It's really about exploring that data, getting to understand that data. So, but it's also got spatial analysis. So I'm, maybe if I give an example of this. So. If you're actually looking at understanding house prices or something like that within an area, yeah. and you might just want to understand that data. So have you got missing data? Are there outliers in that data? Are there nulls? Are there things that you need to know about that data before you start the analysis? You can very quickly gain that understanding using insights. Yeah. If you want to take that analysis a little bit further and you want to be looking at, is there a relationship between different features? So are we seeing the prices going up over even space and time. So you want to see that interactivity between the locations and between what's happening. Again, Insights lends itself perfectly for that. Mm -hmm. But Insights, it's important to understand it's very much a part of ArcGIS. It's a part of the whole platform. So you don't have to just use Insights. You have everything at your fingertips to use. So if you want to take your analysis a step further and start doing some advanced analysis, you want to start doing some prediction of your house prices over time you may want to reach for something like EBK regression prediction that we have in Pro. You have all of that. So you're working within the whole platform and Insights allows you to get started in that process very quickly. But remember, it's part of the whole platform so we can use all of the tools at our disposal. And so people can, uh, they can kind of explore it, right? They exactly. can kind of get, get familiar with it they and understand kind of figure it data. out where it fits in with what, however else they're using. Yeah, the I mean, there today, is, right? as I said right at the start, it's very much about spatial analysis. So there are the spatial analysis tools in there mm -hmm. that will help you get started with what we think are the sort of the primary workflows. But if you have advanced analysis, we're part of the whole platform to take it and do it somewhere else. Great. All right, we're at um, question number five. Okay. How are you doing? 
Good. They're good. Are these good questions? I, of course. Yeah. They're from the yeah. community. Of course. I know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Great job, by the way. So <laughs> We're not grading you or anything like that, okay. in case you're wondering. Uh, so does ArcGIS uh, work with geoanalytics? Okay. And, now then, you... and then this is also kind of a two-parter. Okay. Sorry. All right. I know you're I'll already have, you'll have to remind launching me. into Go the, on. your answer there. Go on. Because um, I know you've thought long and hard about these. Mm -hmm. you, know, you probably have helped people answer these questions many times before. <laughs> So uh, geocoding with insights and tabular data, does this uh, consume credits somehow? So okay. kind of a, kind of a two-parter. Okay, there. so the first question is, does it work with geoanalytics? Mm -hmm. Well, I've already mentioned it's part of the ArcGIS platform. So of course you can get going with geoanalytics using the hosted feature services already. But going forward, we're actually going to make that a convenience. So um, as the part of our work at the start of 2017, we're actually going to put that in so you can work directly against your geoanalytics data. Yeah. Uh, the second part of the data do, um, question, sorry, do we consume credits? Mm -hmm. Well, we do for some features. So let me be clear about which features they are. If you're actually using something like geo enrichment, which is some of the spatial analysis functionality we have in there, then you will consume credits because we're working against ArcGIS Online. If you're using something like geocoding, if you already have the location pack, then we're not going to be consuming credits. If you're working against ArcGIS Online, in that case, you will consume credits. All right. Okay. <laughs> well done. Yeah. All right. So uh, question number six. I, I can't do it just one hand now, so I have to do six. Um, uh, database connectors. Uh, is yep. Oracle database connection going to be supported? Okay. So again, we're part of the platform, so we can work against any, any of the vector data that you can already within ArcGIS Online. So we can already work with Oracle Geodatabases. But as part of the convenience, we can actually work directly against some databases. So currently, we can work against SQL uh, server databases. We can work against SAP HANA. And we can also work against Teradata. So as part of our development work at the start of 2017, we're going to enable you to work directly against Oracle databases. All right, great. And question number seven, uh, what kind of development customization uh, will be supported? <laughs> okay, so we did make the decision that at release... Got to have a customization question, right? Of course. Of course right? So at release 1.0, which is the one that's coming at the end of this year, we haven't enabled any customization at all. But yes, we know it's a very important thing to work and to have some API that you can work against. We already are expecting that people will ask for customization in terms of the visualizations, in terms of the databases that you can connect to. So, you know, maybe you want to automate your work in different ways. We know that that's coming and we would genuinely like to hear from the community. So. This is definitely where you, you, it right there. Yeah, you can give us feedback. You. We want to know what you want from us. What are the key things that you want that customization for? So yeah, we Great. would love to hear about uh, that. The community is not shy. So they, uh, they love to, we have a very, very vibrant, uh, you know, helpful community. And we have an ideas website. Please put your ideas on there. We are listening. We would love to hear. Yeah, yeah, a little plug there. It was uh, our GIS <laughs> uh, ideas uh, website, uh, the site on the community. So thank you. I did not tell her to say that, so that was, that was great. <laughs> Just like that. Great. All right, here we go. Rolling along here. Number eight. Uh, will Insights require a named user role to view outputs, or will Insights users be able to share them publicly? Okay. So I mentioned the licensing requirements at the start as to whether you have full capabilities, but when you actually run your analysis with Insights, you can also share those results. If you're just sharing your results, you don't need to have a license for that. So you can share that within your organization. People will be able to view the results of your analysis. They can also share it externally. So you can put it on your own website. As long as you make that data publicly available, people will be able to see those results. They'll be able to interact with all of the results. So other people can share those results without having to have the full licensing. Great. Mm -hmm. All right, question number nine. It's getting harder to do that, right? <laughs> yeah. You're going to have to hold the sheet when 10, I do a 10, yeah. right? So be ready, all right? It's coming to you. All right, so, uh, number nine. So this is uh, you know, more of a community question. We always like to ask our, our guests, you know, what, uh, what are you learning? Because you know, a lot of what happens on the community is you know, sharing uh, what we're doing while we're working you know, on the platform and yep. using it in our, in our work. So 
Um, what, what have you guys learned? You know, you've been uh, obviously working on the uh, insights, uh, mm -hmm. you know, for a while. So what, what have you guys learned you know, well, through this uh, process? That's, that's the really important part, that this is a team. Mm -hmm. So we, we've learned to work very much as part of a team. So this is a project led by Art Haddad. All of this was his idea. Mm -hmm. We are a very passionate and talented team. We all have different areas of expertise. We've learned to work together. We've all learned from each other. So we've all learned about the different areas of expertise. And we've learned from talking to other people. So we've gone out, we've talked to the community, we've talked to users to see what is it they want from this and how- What was the biggest surprise? You know, that you guys, was something surprised you in those conversations that made it into the, into the development? Um, I wouldn't say there was any big surprises, but there's been some wonderful ideas. There's mm -hmm. been, uh, we have so many ideas. <laughs> I mean, that's the one thing we're overwhelmed with great ideas, with things that we really, as I say, we are a really passionate team. We really mm -hmm. want to make this work well. So it's incredible how much this small team of people can actually have actually got done in the amount of time. So, yeah, I don't know what we've learned except working together and trying to do our best. Hey, that's, that's important. You know? <laughs> yeah. Great. All right. So here you hold this. Oh, yeah. Ten. Question number 10. <laughs> there you go. Um, and this is the part where we have, uh, you know, we have a fun fact. Mm -hmm. um, we love to learn more about, uh, kind of already took us down that path with the team and everything, yeah. but we'd like to learn a little bit about you. So for those of you watching, uh, you might have seen that we have this uh, snowboard uh, on the couch here. So go ahead, yeah, Linda. That's my snowboard. Um, I heard a rumor, actually not a rumor, right? I mean, you actually told me um, before. <laughs> oh, and this is yours too, right? Yeah, it's yeah. my beanie. Right. It's your beanie. So you <laughs> snowboard. I am, yes. And this is your board. Yes. And as you can see, everybody has uh, a map on it, yep. which is really cool, right? So I was wondering, uh, obviously you've, uh, you've done a lot of snowboarding, you know, during the, uh, oh, can I raise oh, it I up? I didn't see the map. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. That was, it was such a cool board, I want all to myself. Um, so obviously you did some snowboarding during, uh, during the development mm -hmm. of, uh, you know, Insights. Yep. So uh, take us to the, in the connection of snowboarding when you're on the slope or you're going down, like how did that experience connect with, with the development of the platform? Like oh, how it's, those two merge together? It's my little bit of downtime. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I, yeah. I'm so rarely not working. As I say, we, we work as hard as we can. So these, these are my few minutes of actually going out and doing some real geography, mm. actually learning about, about how the terrain works and stuff instead of just mapping it. <laughs> awesome, being one with the geography. Exactly. Right? All right, fantastic. All right, well that was, uh, that's it. We've got 10 questions and uh, we want to thank you for, uh, for joining us. And obviously uh, this is the beginning of a conversation, right? Because yeah. uh, we want to see all of you on, uh, on GeoNet uh, asking questions. We'll continue to chat uh, on there. So that's it for us. Thank you. Thank you, Linda. Pleasure. Bye everybody. Mm -hmm.